All right, Andy, what I'll do is I can do some more research, see if there's anything coming out here in the next couple of days. I do have your number. If I find anything, I'll, I'll reach out to you. Come on, man. Get your shit together, bro. Chris, let me ask you a question real quick. Do you want to sell me this car? Let's make it happen, man. Till I collapse. I've been moving too fast. Got my foot up on the gas. Full throttle till I crash. I'm back with the vengeance. You gonna see me end this. I okay, guys, so here's what we're going to do. I'm, I'm going to tell you this one. I'm calling on a Tesla, 2022 Tesla with 56,000 miles. I'm going to tell him, oh, man, I just saw the miles. All right. Motor City, this is Chris. Hey, Chris, I was calling to get some information on a vehicle I saw on the website. Yes, sir. Let's check it out. All right. Uh, new or you, sir? It's going to be used. All right. Will he get my name? Do you have a stock number? Oh, no. Um, yes, hold on one second. I'm going to pull this up for you. It looks like it's M034465. 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 Will he get my name? Will he get my name? Come on, dog. Come on, get your boy's name. If you can't get their name, you can't build a relationship. Remember, order takers... Is he an order taker? Can he make connections that others can't? Are you okay. calling here locally in Bakersfield? Sure am. Awesome, awesome. I ain't got my name yet. Hold on. Oh, Andy. All right, Andy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Don't put me on hold. Here. Maybe I can snap a couple photos and send it over to you. Does that work, Andy? I already saw the pictures on the website. I just wanted to see if you still okay. had it. And uh, let me go confirm with my manager, make sure it's still available. What is a good callback number? Andy? Never tell him you want to talk to your manager. 0711. Awesome. My name is Chris. Well, I'll be reaching out to you here in about five minutes. Yeah, yeah. But I can Check. but I can hold them on my lunch break. Oh, okay. Perfect. Let me play it. on a brief hold, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to tell you what he did wrong. Number one, super important. I'm going to bust this guy's ass up here in a minute, okay? But number one... Couple number couple things that he did wrong. Number one, he got my name too late. Hope you have the best day of your life. This is Andy. How can I serve you today? Oh, you're calling on that vehicle? Awesome. I've got a bunch of these in stock right now. You know, um, let me pull up my let me pull up my computer. That way I can make sure I get the exact vehicle. By the way, where, where are you calling from? Oh, okay, cool, awesome. You're local in our area. That's awesome. We love serving our community. Our community is most important to us. Okay. Now, by the way, if you had the chance to drive one of these yet. You know, he can go into, you know, what, what got you interested in this vehicle while well, I'm pulling this up? Number one, never say I need to check with my manager. Everybody listen to me. Never say I need to check with my manager. By the way, now I find no authority in him. I find no reason to deal with him because he needs his daddy. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. Two one zero zero two five four. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. He does. He can't help me. He needs his daddy to help me. Is it his job to walk the inventory when he comes into work? Is it his job to walk the lot and see what cars are for sale, or is it his manager's job? So if it's his job, then he's he's valuable to me. But if it's the manager's job, why am I on the phone with him? Is he an order taker? Is he the like? What is he doing? And by the way, did he come to work today prepared? I went to their website just now, and I see 50 cars on, on in stock. Andy, it does show it is uh, still available. It does show it's still here on our lot. So okay. Would you like to uh, set up an appointment and come check this one out? Awesome. Real quick, Chris, how many miles are on that? Uh, 56,702. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah, no, the miles are too high. I didn't see the miles. Okay. Uh, I'm going to look for one with a little less miles. Okay. Um I'll do also a check to see if there's any other Teslas that we have coming out. Are you only looking for the uh, Model 3? I love that car. I just wish awesome. it had less miles. All right. All right, Andy, what I'll do is I can do some more research, see if there's anything coming out here in the next couple of days. I do have your number. If I find anything, I'll, I'll reach out to you. Chris, let me ask you a question real quick. Do you want to sell me this car? Let's make it happen, man. Chris, let me ask you a question. If, if I looked for a lower mile car, would it cost me more money? I'm sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure that the price would go up a little bit. Chris, listen to me. If I looked for a lower mile car, would it cost me more money? Yes, sir. 
Okay, so I saw this vehicle because I was interested in the price. I saw the price. I call you on it. I like the car. I hit you with an objection. I say the miles are too high. When I tell you the miles are too high, you get, you're getting off the phone with me, and you're going to let me go buy a car somewhere else. Now, if I go find a car with low miles, I'm going to spend more money. Am I right? Correct. Okay, do you think I'm going to want to do that, or do you think I like the price of this car? Yep, you like the price of this one. Okay, so can you overcome the miles are too high? I want you to write this down. Andy, I totally understand. However, with this vehicle having a few more miles, all the depreciation has already been taken into consideration. You know what that means? This is a Tesla. These vehicles are rated to run a half a million miles. This has got 56,000 miles on it. That's nothing. I don't know how long you're planning on, on driving it or how many miles you drive a year, but you could buy this car, save money, literally have a lower monthly payment, pay less money, and then when you go to trade it in down the road, not be upside down and owe more money like if you spent more money on a lower mile vehicle. If you know anything about Teslas, they're rated to run a half a million miles. So if money's your biggest concern and getting a lower monthly payment is important to you and the vehicle is going to drive the exact same, and if you cover the odometer on one that had 56,000 miles or 30,000 miles, they drive the same. Most of our clients actually reach out and try to find these Teslas with more miles so they can make a better deal. Does that make sense? Got you. Good. So you must have a magic rabbit foot in your pocket because you just won the lottery and it's your lucky day. When are you going to make it down so you can touch it, feel it, smell it, make sure you love it? And then in the end, we'll sit down and talk about it if you don't like it. And I'll look for something else for lower miles if, you're, if that's what you really want. Is that cool? <laughs> that's awesome. All right. Come on, man. Get your shit together, bro. <laughs> All right, listen to me. Next time somebody says an objection, I want you to run through it, and I want you to close them, okay? Let's do it. Remember, write this down. The biggest part of the depreciation has already been taken into consideration. You always start out like that. If you had to buy a vehicle that had lower miles, you would spend more money. More money would be a bigger payment. That's 100% if you, right. If, okay, if you cover the odometer on a car with 56,000 miles or 30,000, it is 2024. These cars are rated to run a half a million miles. There is no difference. This isn't 1999 anymore, sir. Okay? <laughs> you feel me? Yes, sir. All right, all right. Don't let anybody leave again. See you, buddy. Okay, so that was a good chance to coach somebody, right? So notice, what did I say? The biggest part of the depreciation has already been taken into consideration. Listen, Chris, if that car, if there was a car and it had less miles, it would have cost you more money. I'm sure at the end of the day, you saw the price tag on this vehicle and you're like, dude, that's a good deal. Then you reached out, the miles are too high. Had it been 1999, the difference between a car with 50,000 miles and 20,000 miles was a lot because cars only ran 100,000 miles and then they blew up. But it's 2024. 2024, these cars are ready to run a half a million miles. That's nothing. This car's not even broke in. Literally, the, the oil change used to be every two to 3,000 miles on cars. Now, on most cars, it's every 10,000 miles. You guys see? It's all perspective. Selling perspective could be the greatest thing that you ever do, which means getting people to see things the way that you see them. Okay? Okay, Chris was seeing that the miles are high, so that's a bad thing. I see that the miles are high because it's a good thing. Does that make sense? Understand this. Most of our clients, Chris, they actually reach out. Guys like the miles are too high. I'm like, oh, wow, that's crazy. You've never heard that before. Most people are upset because they actually don't want one with really low miles because they have to spend way more money and they have a way higher payment. And that way in three years when they go to trade it back in, they actually owe too much money and they're upside down and they're mad. Most of our clients actually call in and want something with a little more miles because all the depreciation has already been taken in consideration so they can make a good deal. They beat the depreciation cycle so that really today when they buy the car, they have a lower monthly payment and three years when they trade it back in, they're not upside down. And actually a lot of them have equity in cases like this. You see it? Flip it. What eyes do they need to be seeing out of? Your eyes, not theirs. Your job's is self respecting Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.